Well, I think um, it's important to understand the magnitude of the project that's been undertaken here. There's been a lot of talk about the machine shop renovation, but I think it's more uh, extensive than that. It should be thought of as a re-engineering of the machine shop. So, so there's the fab lab, the polymer processing lab, then there's what we call welding and fabrication, so that's hot work. Then we have our conventional machine shop, what we call generally the tool room, and then there's our stock room. This is our fab lab. The idea here was to equip a room with easy to learn, easy to use equipment that students could access after hours. So we've taken tools like our TwoBot over here, which by answering only five questions or so, a student can produce in foam a model that's useful to them. They'll carve a, a shape out of it from the drawing that's been made on, in SOLIDWORKS. We have a rapid prototyper that students can access independently. We also have a laser cutter. Um, it, it, it was very popular this term in the bridge class in Engines 33 and Solid Mechanics. You can see the complexity of this shape. Uh, typically in, the, in Solid Mechanics, students are assigned the task of designing trusses and so our laser cutter helps them realize the designs that they imagine and you see much more complex trusses being made. We also have some of the design tools that are essential to making high-level project work. We have scanning capabilities and digitizing capabilities so that students can import organic natural shapes in order to design around those. As you go down the line here, you can see uh, we have a polymer processing room. Uh, sometimes the right material is plastic and we have the ability in the polymer processing room to, to make castings in urethane. We can do injection molding. We can do thermoforming, so we have those, at least those three processes going on over there, and we have a room specially configured for that. Next one down is our weld area. Then we have our stock room. Over in the other side, we have our conventional machine shop using uh, our, all of our new prototracks. Uh, we have a, a tool crib area where our tools and resources are aggregated. So again, the layout was really important so that a student could see some, some sort of coherence to the way things get made in, in the workshop. 